Hey everyone and welcome to Screams After Midnight TV Edition. I am Peter, that is Tim. We are working our way through Eat. Tales from the Crypt. This is going to be Season 7, Episode 4. It's called Escape. So, full spoilers mm -hmm. for the episode, as always. It's funny because I feel like the word escape is a, is a word that's been on my mind for the last like two seasons of Tales from the Crypt. <laughs> and okay. dare I say that this episode has made me feel no different to my feelings <laughs> on Tales oh. from the Crypt from the last couple of years. Uh, well, I say years, seasons, seasons. We, we, you know, we, we started this like two and a half years ago, but it's, it's taking this long. Anyway, oh. Tim, this episode sucked. What are your thoughts? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no i mean yeah i 100 percent agree i i watched it late last night i can probably tell you like one or two things that happened in it uh i, I was bored to tears as soon as it starts and i see that it's a war episode i was like oh, god damn it uh I, I think we mentioned it before but i don't really like mixing war with horror like I don't know, war's already kind of scary well, i guess i should say <laughs> Uh, I mean, technically, there isn't really any like supernatural stuff in this episode. Or no, whatever, I was going like, to say but... that this doesn't really mix horror with with war. It's just it's just yeah, a, a twisted war story. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, I mean, in general, like it's like I, I don't really like watching like movies or TV stuff uh, about mm. war. I just think it's like such a you know such like a real world like oh man like this is uh, a you know bummer. It's you know depressing. It's like I don't really you know like to think about that like i'd rather you know kind of escape into you know some fantasy thing or something but yeah it's yeah it, it wasn't good <laughs> yeah also this is the fourth one in a row that is primarily british so clearly mm -hmm. season seven's something going on here i don't know if it's going to switch at some point mm -hmm. like maybe it'll be half the season or whatever because the first one yeah. had bob hoskins the second one was the british sisters the, the monkey's paw mm -hmm. one the last one was, oh god, what was the last one? I don't know. I remember saying uh, it was British. The, the, but... <laughs> the like horror author and the neighbor. Oh god, yeah, jeez. <laughs> um, so this one was British, even though half the characters are meant to be German. They're not actually German. <laughs> they're putting on yeah. German accents. Uh, the main character is a British actor I actually recognise, Martin Kemp. Uh, his mm. German accent is very questionable. <laughs> very questionable. Yeah. So, the, the, right off the bat, it was putting me on the rock. I mean, honestly, the only positive thing I can say about this episode is at least the Crypt Keeper segments were kind of in... Oh, sure. In yeah. theme. <laughs> they, were, they were military related. So it was like, okay, all right. They were kind yeah. of related to what was going on in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, other than yeah, that, the, the premise of this is that it's a prisoner of war camp, a British prisoner mm -hmm. of war camp, so it's the German soldiers, and uh, Luger, who's the main character, he he's escaping with others, but then it turns out that he was actually a plant, or he was working for the, the, the British generals, and he was luring his fellow Germans into this trap, and they all mm -hmm. get killed. And then he goes back to camp, he's upset that the Major's not given him what he wanted, and then he meets someone else in the camp who wants to, help, you know, wants him to aid them escaping because he, he, you know, because he got so far. You know, as far as the other prisoners are concerned, he almost got out and then got caught. Mm -hmm. So they want his help. Mm -hmm. But there's one other German in there who overheard overheard some of the uh, some of the British generals talking, mm -hmm. and they know that he betrayed them. So this is kind of blackmailing them, or he wants to blackmail them. Mm -hmm. I was never so really clear. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it doesn't really matter because the ultimate twist is, is that this guy is actually a British soldier impersonating a German mm -hmm. prisoner who eventually sets up the main character, Luger, to be shot by the general <laughs> at the end, or the major at the end, which is whatever. And the, 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 the only real sort of sick little joke part of it is that, oh, we've tricked you into being shot. Oh, by the way, we got a phone call earlier today. The war oh, is yeah, actually man. ending. Like, we're going to release yeah. the rest <laughs> of the prisoners, but we're going to shoot you first because we don't <laughs> like you, is, is basically it. <laughs> what a twist world war Two ended <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's a twist in the sense that yeah you never wrestle when you're yeah, watching yeah, a war yeah. story you never expect that it's the last day right you mm -hmm. always just assume it's somewhere in the middle yeah or d-day it's mean, always d-day <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah like i i don't know i, I could not care less it's yeah, it, it, it's like these uh, all these soldiers and then yeah some people are working for this side and it was I don't know. Like, I guess if I cared about the story, I 
you could have paid more attention and like understood what was going on. But I was just like, so I don't know, like I, it was hard for me to pay attention. So I was just like, what's going on. All right. He's working for the soldiers. No way. He's working for the Germans. No way. He's a spot. Like, uh, whatever. <laughs> it was complete. I'm not even sure. Like some of the big dramatic moments didn't even make sense. Uh, the, the, the only real kind of like big dramatic thing I can think of outside of the ending is that the, the guy who was helping escape that he set up at the start actually came back in bandages in the hospital at one point. So he has to yeah. sneak in and kill him so that he won't tell anyone what he did. Um, and, you know, the, the guy, he, he actually fails in killing him because he, like, strangles him and beats him. <laughs> but the guy is, like, still kind of alive a little bit. So he writes, like, Luger, the, the guy's name, on the wall or on the, on the window in blood for the other soldiers <laughs> to see, or for the other prisoners to see, rather. And <laughs> nothing ever comes of it, though, because him and the other dude are already <laughs> escaping by that point. So, yeah. it's, they, they, they never even even establish if the prisoners understand why he's writing that. Like, if they understand what what message he's trying to convey. Yeah, and also like the uh, like Luger, that's like a, a type of gun, right? <laughs> like, yeah. So I don't. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. They, like, they all know like... the guy's name at least, so I, yeah. they probably assume he's talking about him in some way. But they, they, mm-hmm. they have no idea. It's not. It's not like he finishes it and says Luger betrayed me or. Luger yeah. as spy or Luger as shithead or, or whatever. <laughs> For a good time call. <laughs> <laughs> it, it never really like, gets to his point. He, just, he kind of dies before he, after he writes the name. Mm-hmm. And we never really get a sense that the German soldiers really ever understand what he what he was trying to say. Um, oh. And then we have the twist and it's just, that. No, no, this was all just the majors playing him because they wanted to toy with him before they killed him. Yeah. Jeez, I don't know. It's uh, uh, like scraping the bottom of the barrel here to like find stories, I guess. But this is the worst episode of the season so far, and we've not liked any of the episodes. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, like this. At least the other ones, I would say, were not good. But at least like you know, I was like, whatever, I'll, I'll just follow along. This just bored me so much that I, you know, it's yeah, I. <laughs> really didn't like it <laughs> i actually like th- honestly the writer one from last episode is probably the mm. best of the four which is insane because it's not it wasn't <laughs> good but honestly yeah. it had the most playful elements where i'm like okay i can kind of i can see where the fun might come from this yeah that this was yeah. not that at all it was just no. oh jeez <laughs> uh, what do we got uh nine more episodes yeah nine go. more <laughs> yeah, these are getting shorter and shorter by the way like we're, we're running out of things to talk about oh. some of these bad episodes yeah i mean yeah there really isn't much else <laughs> to like, I, talk about it like, i'm also not noticing a trend where they're, they're, they're getting quite short as well this was only 24 mm-hmm. minutes because if you go back to like season two there was the occasional 24 minute episode but most of them tend to be 28 to 30 kind of in that range mm-hmm. Uh, this, yeah. so I'm noticing they're they're a bit shorter as well. So it just it really felt it there did, was nothing nothing here. Yeah, I mean, like, like this season definitely feels like the wheels are turning. Like the you know the the budgets like don't seem as much. Like they're not doing as many crazy stuff. Like the stories aren't as interesting. It doesn't seem like they're getting as you know big. Uh, you know, cause, like sometimes like in the other episodes we'd have like. You know, maybe they weren't big at the time, but, you know, there'd be, like, you know, writers and directors and actors that you recognize and, like, you know, uh, sometimes, like, you know, in almost every episode or something, like, you go, like, oh, well, I recognize that person or that name or whatever. Well, and I mean, that, that was it, the thing. If you go back to our, our first few seasons uh, reviewing this, mm-hmm. almost every episode it was, like, oh, I recognize that person. Oh, and I, I got mm-hmm. that name from the, cr- the credits and stuff like that. Yeah. Now it's like, I don't know if like people have just moved on or if like, you know, they don't have enough money, but they're like, yeah, let's do one more season. We'll just kind of, you know, you know, kind of keep it cheap and whatever. But yeah, these, uh, these have not been good so far. I never, I never expected that season seven would actually get worse. Like, cause season yeah. five and six, barring one or two kind of gems mm. were really rough to get through. And I feel like mm-hmm. season seven on average, so far has been worse. Yeah, I would, I would agree with that. Like, uh, and I, I feel like at least um, some of the other like bad episodes from earlier seasons, I kind of missed that. Like, 
they would be bad, but like, you know, they make like, at least it would be in a way that like, oh, I hated this aspect of it or, oh, like, uh, I hated it so much it made me mad or something. Like, at least it would stir up feelings. Like, these are just so like forgettable and, you know, it just feels like non episodes that it's like, yeah, I don't feel anything at the end. Like, I'm not even passionate enough to, you know, be like, oh, this is one of the worst episodes ever. So, you know, it's just like, Oh yeah, well, I you know, I, completely forgot I existed. It existed. <laughs> I, th- I think one of the, the key things here is that there's not even any like moments or details I want to talk about with this one. There's no like even right, some yeah. of the like, bad episodes. They'll be like, okay. This is you know why it was bad. It was this moment here. This this episode has mm-hmm. doesn't have a single memorable moment. I I watched yeah. this about two hours ago and I I am struggling to think of like a specific moment where I where I felt anything where I, I felt like oh, there was that quirky thing in the performance, or, or, oh, there was that really stupid, you know, moment of logic, or, or was this, or was that. Right, yeah. Like, you know, there was one, like, uh, interesting character, or one, you know, like, usually, at least they have some type of, like, gruesome effect or something at the end that you can at least be like, well, that was cool, or, oh, no, they didn't nail that one, or something, like, you know, there's really nothing. <laughs> There's nothing. It's, it's just, I am not going to remember this next week. You know, when we talk about mm-hmm. episode five, I am not going to remember what episode four was. No, I mean you didn't remember what the <laughs> the last episode was. I I think that is way more memorable <laughs> than this one. Oh yeah, definitely. But so I had so yeah. Yeah. Oof. Hey, here you go. So, um, <laughs> got, got nine more left. That's episode right. four, Escape. We stretched out another like three minutes of conversation out of that, just <laughs> somehow complaining. <laughs> but that that is that is the episode. So thank you very much. Let us know what you thought of this one in the comments below. Like and subscribe, all that stuff. Get us on the Twitters at mailed underscore fuzz for channel updates. If you want to support the channel, head over to patreon.com slash mailfuzztv and you can do that over there. But otherwise, that is us. So thank you once again for watching. We always appreciate it. Keep watching Scary TV and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.